Hey guys, today I want to talk about a very serious issue in Magic the Gathering, which is cheating. Ever since I played Magic when I was in preschool, I remember my first pack of beta. I It was a game filled of people who were cheating all the time. Now, when we were younger, we were cheating, but we really didn't know we were cheating because there was we didn't know how to play the game, so we just kind of made up rules as we went. But as I got older, especially in middle school and elementary school, Mark Justice and Mike Long. Mike Long and Mark Justice were the two best Magic players at the time. And they were notorious cheaters. Like, they cheated almost every single game. And that is pretty crazy, right? Uh, There was a very interesting statement where at a higher event, Mark Justice and Mike Long, they knock each other's dice They put the different life totals and a judge is called and the judge rolls against Mark Justice, kicking him out of the event. And Mike Long makes a snide remark when Mark Justice is leaving, saying something along the lines of, the only way you can beat me, Mark, is if you cheat better than I do. Smiley face. I mean, that was Magic the Gathering. And this is what Mark Rosewater, who is the face of Magic the Gathering. And I know that many times... Uh, He'll say something that he doesn't represent, which is a coast. This is his personal belief. Yet he's tweeting on the blog of talk. I mean, he's so associated with magic that everything he says, you have to take with a grain of salt that it is magic, the gathering, saying that and permitting him to say it. Otherwise, he would lose his job, right? If he was saying crazy stuff they didn't want him to be saying that was associated with their brand. So Mark... Rosewater has always said that Mike Long should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Mike Long, this notorious cheater who (laughs) cheated his way to the top. Mark Rosewater is also the person who said that Alex Bocchini, who has been banned twice for cheating, is now allowed to return. He's okay with that. He has not been outspoken against Alex. He could easily make a case against Alex, and then Alex would be banned for life. He has not done that. He has, however, made lots of interesting remarks about gender equality, um, he, she, like all of these really political things that he's talking about on a daily basis. So let's talk about cheating. Mark Rosewater believes magic is a game, the Pro Tour is an event. So if you view the Pro Tour as an event, then cheating is okay. Think about it for a moment. An event is meant for entertainment. It doesn't have to be real. The WWE is not real. It is a made-up event that has interesting made-up moves and made-up drama. I was watching, I remember watching it when I was a little kid. I haven't watched it in some time, but it was like, hey, you cheated with my mom and now I'm going to have to body slam you. That's probably not actually what happened um, because... All of this, it's scripted, right? It's very made up, like Tolarian or Wet. They are fully scripted channels, and you don't actually know what they are like until you have uh, seen them in person, which many of you have not. So, uh, to be very simple, uh, Meryl tweeted something advocating that Mike Long should be allowed to go into the Pro Tour. Many people think that Rosewater is responsible for Mike Long being allowed to play in competitive magic because whenever he was accused of cheating, Rosewater would defend him saying that we need him. We need him. And I will, in the very end of this video, offer you proof in his own words of why cheating is acceptable in magic as long as it gets views. Sounds like another YouTuber, right? that you guys are listening to right now. Um, Anyway, I suspect that Long was given a lot of leeway because he was one of the best prospects that filled that role. It was important in the early days of Magic to have a crop of pro players who were consistently performing well in tournaments to prove that Magic wasn't just luck. So the goal of Merrill, Wizard of the Coast back then, was to legitimize Magic as a competitive skill-based sport. Now they want to present it as a clean sport. So it's kind of like the baseball PED, 
where you had Mark McGuire hit, what was it, 61. Sammy Sosa was chasing them. They were both on PEDs. Roger Clemens, all those shutouts, PEDs. And you had uh, Barry Bonds. He hit, what, 71, 72, something ridiculous amount of home runs. And they were walking him like crazy. Imagine if they didn't walk him. And that was good for baseball. Baseball was dying before you had the big home run home run derby that was on the front page of every newspaper all the time. And now they want a quote clean game because streaming. So what has changed is the fact that these games are streamed now on Twitch or YouTube. So it's not as easy. I mean, when someone cheats, there's not an easy way for them to get rid of it. And if someone is winning a pro tour, their games, their matches are streamed. In the past, they were not. So Mike Long was cheating the most egregious, the most aggressively during the higher level events. So uh, he is remembered for cheating and... Mark Rosewater loves the dude, and that's what it is because, in his view, it's not. It, it's like baseball back in the home run derby Sammy Soso versus Mark McGuire, Mark Justice versus Mike Long. It was very good for the popularity of Magic to have these two villains win all the time. Today, it is not that good. Yes, we do have Alex Bacchini's, which Mero supports wholeheartedly. Wizard of the Coast is 100% even paying for Alex to go to events behind the greatest current cheater of all time, banned two times, caught cheating multiple times on camera. Awful. But that's why we have this culture. If you ask why is cheating so rampant in Magic the Gathering, it's because of this guy, Mark Rosewater. A long okay, so number one, I'm not speaking for Wizard of the Coast, except you are. Every time you, you blog, every time you answer someone's question about magic, every time you tweet, you are speaking for Wizard of the Coast. Just because you have a long paragraph saying that you're not isn't really relevant. Number three, the criteria are, are purposefully subjective. He's talking about who to vote in the Hall of Fame. Now, this allows him to have the loophole where, where he's voting people in the Hall of Fame, not based on whether they are good people, but they're based on their accomplishments. And here we have, we have the strongest argument for Mike Long is that he did accomplish a lot. And he was important for the game. I grew up really disliking Mike Long, but I followed the Pro Tour seen because of Mike Long and many people felt the same way. Mike has a good resume. He's run won a pro tour for a long time. He was the number two lifetime money winner. And this is an actual vote for Mark Rosewater for Mike Long. The only to put this in perspective, it would be like Wedge from the Manosaurs voting for Alex Bacchini just because they're friends or he's friends with Alex's girlfriend and that's what it is and would I be surprised if the man of source did something no I mean if Mark Rosewater is going to go ahead and vote in a cheater I would not be surprised at all for anyone else to do it as well all right so let me summarize this in his own words in short my job was to make the pro tour interesting and exciting how did Mike fare at star building? He's the best I've ever had. If I put him into a future match or on camera, people showed up in large numbers. People hated Mike, but they were drawn to watch him. One pro tour where Mike made the top eight, I chose to start by filming a different match. The crowd nearly lynched me. Interesting word, probably not PR approved today. I quickly learned the golden rule, show Mike. <laughs> we got it, right? Guys, have we figured out the whole point of Magic Pro? It is to show the people who are popular and to ban the people who are not for life or for two years, like Travis Wu. So here we have an interesting scenario where people are getting banned 
and because they're not popular and then people are being let in or voted into the hall of fame because they are popular and it doesn't matter if they're cheating it doesn't matter if they're sexual predators it doesn't matter if they take in eighty thousand dollars from the community for something that could have easily been preventable it doesn't matter any of this stuff it's whether or not Mero likes you and if you go on the man sources twitter right now there's a lot of people begging him yours included to vote for them at the hall of fame so imagine if that's happening right now what type of begging is happening behind the scenes? All types of nasty stuff, I assume. Not that I'm accusing Weds of being morally ethical or ethically gray, but it's interesting, right? Weds is the type of person who likes when people suck up to him. He likes sucking up. So I wonder who's going to get his vote. Bye.